Hey guys, long time no talk. Um, today I'm gonna be showing off my new telescope setup on my new pier mount. Um, it's been a couple months since I've put a video together. I've been, uh, I've completely changed setups. I've changed locations and changed my mindset on a lot of things. So I'm really excited to show you how, how this goes. Enjoy. set up so I think our next best step is for me to go through um, each item that we have on here and hopefully show you around my scope enjoy all right first off we'll start off with the scope the big kahuna this scope is a explore scientific ED 127 triplet has a focal length of 927 millimeters and it is an f7 scope um, off of that, oh, I apologize, F7.5, <laughs> close enough. Off of that, um, you'll see that I'm running it on a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. Um, on the other end, I have two 10 pound weights. Um, this setup works pretty well all together. Um, it's able to handle all the weight. The maximum weight capacity of this guy is 44 pounds. So I'm a little bit below, right around half the weight of 50%. So I think that's a good rule. Um, I'm able to get above 600 second shots, so plenty for me. On the top, we have an Orion 60 millimeter guide scope with a ASI uh, ZWO 290mm Pro. Um, this little red guy right here is the workhorse of the entire package, the I ASI Air Pro. Um, that is my computer. I do not bring a laptop out. I pretty much just use my iPad wireless with this guy. Um, the next red piece I have is the ZWO um, EAF, or Electronic Auto Focuser. Great new addition, just got that for my birthday from my fiance, so I really am really enjoying that. Um, then on the end we have the ZWO EFW, that is the electronic focus wheel that, EFW, uh, the, that ZWO makes. Um, I only have four filters in there, I have a luminance filter and uh, the three narrowband filters that you would use for the SHO palette. Um, I'm working on getting an LRGB set. I don't know where I'm going with either Vader, uh, Astronomic, Astrodon, I'm not sure, one of the three. Um, and then right on the end is my cam, which is an ASI 1600mm Pro. Um, so yeah, this entire setup, it works really well for me. It's a complete mono setup. So we have a mono, mono cam on both the guide and the main cam. Um, filter wheel works really well with this setup. And as you just saw, um, it takes me about 15 minutes from completely nothing to set up. So it's a pretty easy to use um, rig that I got here. On the front, I also have a uh, 20 watt dew heater, I believe. It is the AstroZap uh, six inch dew heater. So that works really well for me. 
Um, I'm looking to add a three inch to my guide scope, but just haven't got it yet. Um, so yeah, this is a custom built pier I have. Let me uh, quickly give you a shot of that. So here's the pier. Uh, I have it mounted on a six by six right here onto um, some four by, oh, let's focus on my hand, four by six blocks right up top there. Um, and it's got about 15 brackets in the bottom as well as on the side. I'd like to thank my grandfather for helping me out with that. Um, and then right, the black guy right up top there, that is the Starzona EQ6R Pro pier mount. Um, so I got that from them. A lot of the stuff I get from Starzona, shout out to Steve at Starzona, very helpful, really nice guy. Um, always helps me out with some of my problems I have. So yeah, that's pretty much my entire setup um, from ground up. And you might have noticed I am using a AC to DC adapter for the um, power supply on this guy. I don't have a sync scan set up yet, so I am using the EQ mod cable running right to my Pro right here. Um, yeah, so I, I pretty much control everything through my uh, ASI Air Pro app, and there isn't anything else. I don't have a pole master. I do a polar alignment process right through this guy. I definitely recommend it to anybody. It's a game-changing tool. It um, allows you to get rid of a lot of different programs and um, get rid of that laptop out in the field. So yeah, um, just real quick, I just want to kind of show off how everything works and uh, show you how it looks. So here is the... Here's the mount when it goes sideways. Has nice clearance on all sides. I've been kind of playing with how the setup is configured, um, whether I want to do my filter wheel upside down or not. So I have actually changed it. It's now the, the filter we uh, the filter holder part is on the top. Um, so that was a change I made. And then obviously this guy works just the same. So there's a little bit of a better shot, kind of how I have my cord set up. Um, in fact, we can even invert that a little more. So right here, I have my, e, uh, my EAF hooked up with a um, alignment bracket that came with it. Um, I have a Orion two-inch extender piece that I got from a local hobbyist. Um, that really helped me out, helped me achieve focus a lot easier. And now with this guy, I just have to get rough focus. I'd say, I don't know dime size or smaller stars maybe a little smaller than that maybe half a dime um, and the autofocus is able to take care of it uh, I have this autofocus set where it changes the it, it automatically focuses every time the filter changes um, every time the temperature changes more than five degrees and every hour so pretty much no matter what I know I'm in focus with this tool um, you might notice all the red I am a huge supporter of ZWO I think they make really really great products um, you know, I wish they made telescopes too, but unfortunately right now they're, they're, they're only in the electronic market. Um, the only thing I would say is I wish they would put out some more mono cameras. I know mono sensors aren't as supported anymore, but I just absolutely love their 1600 and I would love to get an even bulkier, better version. Um, they did release the 294 MM Pro recently. Not a huge fan of that one as much. Um, for this setup, I don't think that's the right purchase, but in the future, if they have something with some pretty small pixels, I'm, I'm down for it. So I'll just put it back to where I have it, and then I'm all set for the night. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this setup. Uh, I really enjoy that it only takes me about 15 minutes to set up. You know, I don't have to be at work worrying about a clear night having a 45-minute setup. Um, the two longest parts of my night are setting this up and the polar alignment. Pole alignment takes me maybe five minutes and setup is 15, so that's about it. After that, it's slowing around, looking at targets and having a good time. Um, so yeah, I would, I would really recommend the ASI or Pro. I know I did a video of it when I unboxed it um, to kind of show off everything that was included. And it's, it's really been a uh, integral part of my setup. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about my setup or any, uh, any comments or concerns you have, let me know and I, I'm there to help. Enjoy.